repeating in the event that is not on this webinar, encourage them to listen to the uh, information as well. So we're going to go through those who are part of the youth elite and junior elite uh, races. Uh, this is not your mandatory briefing. You will have a mandatory briefing in Chula Vista. So again, we'll go over that information. So this is not your mandatory briefing. You will have to attend that in person uh, during race week. So let's get started with the information. Kind of go over the schedule of events. So really starting on Friday, August 5th, there's a, a full day of uh, activities. Uh, 8 to 2, we have focus groups. 9 to 3, we'll start packet pickup there at the Manchester Grand Height in San Diego. That is located at one marketplace in downtown San Diego. Nice hotel. Uh, 9 to 3 is also the expo. We have uh, several vendors attending, so make sure you check out all their wares. Uh, 9 to 11 a.m., we have a kids clinic, which is taking place at the race venue uh, down at Chula Vista Harbor. Uh, the hotel packet pickup location is about a 15-minute drive down to race sites, so give yourself uh, plenty of time. For that kids clinic, you do have to be pre-registered. Uh, look for that information on the website. Uh, 11 to 12 will be the pre-race swim. That's where you can go get your warm-up, uh, get your feet in the water, get out there, get a warm-up. Uh, that will take place from 11 to 12. 2 o'clock, the youth age group uh, rules briefing will take place. That is optional. 3 o'clock. And four, uh, 3 o'clock is the mandatory briefing that I mentioned earlier for the junior and youth elite athletes who are participating in those races. Uh, 4 o'clock will also be the team relay briefing, which is also mandatory for those who are competing on Sunday morning. Now going on to race day, Saturday, August 6th, down at Chula Vista Harbor. 6 a.m. for the junior elite, your transition will open. You have 7.30 for the Junior Elite, your transition will open with the Junior Elite women start also at 7.30. 9 a.m., Junior Elite women, your, the course will close. 9.10, Junior Elite men, your race will start. 9 a.m., Youth Elite transition opens. 10.25, the Elite men course will close. And then at 10.30 a.m., we'll have the Youth Elite transition will also close at that time with a 10.35 start for the Elite women. 11.25 a.m., your Youth Elite Women course will close. 11.35, you, the Elite Men race will start. Continuing on with Saturday in the afternoon, now this becomes our youth age groupers. This is our 7 to 15 years uh, age groups. So, again, at 12 o'clock noon, the age group transition will open. Youth Elite Men, your course will finally close off at about 12.25 with a 120, boys 13 to 15, and girls 13 to 15, your race will be starting. Uh, 125, boys 11, 12, girls 11, 12, you'll be starting five minutes after them at 125. 130, the youth age group transition closes, so make sure you get all your stuff in by 130, between 12 and 130. 205, girls and boys 11 to 15, your course, your course will close. 215, boys 9 to 10. Girls 9 to 10, your race starts with a five minutes after that, 12, 20, girls and boys 7 to 8 years old, your race will start. 2.55, the course will close for all boys and girls 7 to 10. 3 o'clock, bike checkout will start uh, at that point for all the 7 to 15-year-olds that are competing with an estimated time at about 3.30 with the award ceremony uh, taking place down at the uh, race site there at Chula Vista. On Sunday, we have our uh, team mixed team relay. If you have, did not uh, participate last year, this is a, a new and exciting format. Uh, again, a lot of hope for this format to, to be added to the Olympic Games. So, again, that for those who are participating, we have 55 teams maxed out, which is great. Uh, 6.30 a.m., your transition will open. 8 o'clock, the relay begins. 9.30, the course will close, and we'll have your award ceremony at 9.45. Let's talk a little about what you're going to do on Friday, uh, August 5th, at the Hyatt uh, Grand Hyatt Hotel from 9 to 3. That's packet pickup and the expo. Now, when you attend all athletes, you must attend with your USAT card. So please pack that, get that out now. Make sure you travel with that. You should, when you signed up for the event, uh, you, you, will, you became an annual member. So make sure you bring that. Uh, also bring a photo ID. For those of you who do not have photo IDs, uh, that may not have driver's license or a library card or anything with a photo on it. Uh, parents, guardians, 
Make sure you have your ID with that, with you at packet pickup so we can verify that. And for some reason, if a, a child is traveling with a coach or a chaperone to the event, uh, we ask all parents or guardians to make a photocopy of your uh, driver's license or ID and send it with the child so we can verify that child who, uh, at, at packet pickup. Talk a little bit about race site parking information. Uh, we'll get into a map here in just a second. Uh, but you'll be parking in the, there's a large dirt lot uh, just across from the Yacht Club on J Street and Marina Way. Uh, again, very easy to get to. It's only about a two-minute walk. So uh, when you get there, uh, again, just pay attention to the signs. There will be parking attendants to point you in the right direction. Uh, so this is where everyone for race day will be parking. Uh, again, just look at the map, which we're going to go to here in a second. Uh, again, you must park at this location, any other location. Uh, they, they may tow or ticket you. So, again, as we jump into the map here, what you'll see right here, this yellow area is the large parking area. This area right here is the site. So, again, as you come down, you'll enter right in this area right here, the driveway. There will be parking attendants to show you where you need to park. Also, remember, uh, when you get to the event, the, 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 the maps in the program are incorrect. The program has you parking in the dirt lot on this side. That is incorrect, so make sure that you're parking over in this dirt lot over here. We're going to talk a little bit about body marking and bib numbers. Um, elite athletes, youth elite, junior elite athletes, you do not need to worry about the bib number, but you will need to worry about all the other numbers that we're going to talk about here in a second. So uh, it's a little bit different, a system that you're probably used to. Uh, when you go to pack a pickup, you're going to receive a large sheet like this that has all your numbers on it. These two large numbers right here are your bib numbers, so those will, can go onto our race belt, as you see it right here, or onto your jersey. We'll have safety pins uh, as well. They are sticker-like material, so again, uh, but we do encourage you to use safety pins to, to keep them to your uniform so they do not fall off during the race. These numbers here are going to be for your swim cap, two small ones. Again, put those on your uh, swim cap, as you can see in this picture right here. Uh, the, the key to this is make sure the night before the race, after you pick up all your uh, numbers, go home, put your swim cap on your head, place the stickers on after you put it on your head. If you do it, if you put the stickers on beforehand and you try to put it on your after, those numbers are going to pop right off. So it's very important to put the this, this swim cap on first, apply the stickers, let them sit overnight so they can really stick very really well to, to the swim cap. You also receive a, a bike number. The bike number goes on to or a helmet number, which goes on the front of your helmet, as seen here. Your bike number, which will look something like this, will be placed on your seat post. If you're unable to place it on your seat post, you can attach it to your, your rear brake uh, cable right in this area right here. So uh, make sure that number is clearly seen for the officials. You'll also receive a bag number. Put that, if you have any transition bags or any uh, bags that you're bringing to the event, put the race number on it so we can identify it for any reason if it gets misplaced uh, during the event. Talk a little bit right now about body marking and what to expect. Uh, youth elite, junior elite athletes, you will receive the what we call the decals or temporary tri-tat tattoos with your number. You'll receive those in your packet, so put those on. Uh, make sure you put them on correctly. Uh, youth age groupers who are the 7 to 15-year-olds who are competing, you will get body marked on the morning of transition, uh, when transition opens. So on Saturday morning, you'll show up, get your race number uh, on your arms and then your legs. Talk a little bit about the rules briefing on Friday at the, the Hyatt, the Grand Hyatt on August 5th. That will take place at 2 o'clock uh, with head referee Reg Watley. He'll be there to answer any questions about rules. Uh, so, again, if you have any questions what the draft zone is, you know, blocking, uh, abandoning equipment, make sure you attend the uh, rules briefing. That is optional for the youth age groupers, 7 to 15 at 3 o'clock. Uh, the junior and youth elite briefing will take place. That is a mandatory meeting. So, again, if you're participating in youth elite or junior elite race, that is mandatory. You must show up. Uh, again, at 4 o'clock, the uh, relay, team, mixed team relay briefing will take place. And, again, that is also mandatory. Again, when you sh for the youth elite and junior elite, when you show up, athletes, please have a first right to those seats. Parents, 
uh, spectators, fans coming to, to the meeting. Uh, let the athletes have the seats, and parents and everyone else can just take their place along the wall to get them to sit and really focus on the information that's being communicated. Bike check-in on Saturday uh, morning, 6 a.m., junior elites. Yeah, we'll start. Youth elites are at 9, 12 p.m. for your youth age groupers who are 7 to 15 years of age. Okay, when you when you go to packet pickup, you will receive a wristband. You must have that wristband on uh, to be allowed into the transition area. And we will have bike support uh, there on site uh, provided by Moment Cycle. So, again, if you need last-minute adjustments to, to the bike, there will be bike support there to help you out. Let's talk a little bit about what's going to happen on race morning. Uh, again, junior elite transition, your your time is 6 to 7.30, so make sure you're you're set and ready to go. Youth Elite, your transition is open from 9 to 10.30, not a moment sooner, not a moment later, so make sure you're there on time. Youth age groupers, 7 to 15 years of age, uh, from 12 to 1.30, make sure you get there uh, with enough time so you can get set up. Uh, again, parking, which we just went over, make sure you're in the proper dirt lot. Uh, again, that's only about a two-minute walk uh, to the venue from that area. Refer to the map on the website and in, in your event, uh, on, this, uh, power, on the uh, webinar here. And one thing we also want to stress is that there will be no excess bags allowed in the transition area. Uh, we, we only want race essentials in there. So, again, your hat, shoes, sunglasses, those type of things. If you have a transition bag, you know, make sure you put your transition bag number on there. Give it to a parent, a guardian, a coach, uh, but do not leave that in the transition area. And, again, bike support will be there on race morning to help you out with any last-minute uh, needs that you might have. Kind of talk about a little about the wave starts. Again, your your youth elites and uh, your your female and men, 7:30 and 10 is your start time. Uh, youth elites again, 10:35 and 11:35. Youth age groupers now very important. Now make sure you're there at least 10 minutes before your start because we will start on time. Uh, boys 13:15, girls 13:15. You're at 1:20. Boys 11-12, girls 11-12, you're at 125. Boys 9-10, girls 9-10, 215. Boys 7-8, girls 7-8, you are 220. Sunday for the, for the mixed team relay, we got 8 a.m. start. And, again, all these times are, we're going to start on time, so make sure you give yourself plenty of time to be there uh, for the start. To talk a little bit about the courses, again, youth elites and junior elites, we'll go into this more detail in the in-person mandatory briefing. But, again, it's a one-lap course, junior elite 750 meters, youth elite 375 meters. Uh, swim, anticipate a wet suit legal swim. Uh, again, it will be a pontoon start, a rectangular-shaped swim, a uh, clockwise loop, a buoys on your right at all times. Uh, junior elites will turn at the yellow triangular buoys. Youth elites at the orange round, and we'll get to the map here in, this, in a second. And there will be plenty of support on the water with boats uh, from the Coast Guard, lifeguards, uh, again, personal watercraft there to, to assist anyone who may need it. So, again, just to look at this course, so here's our swim venue. The pontoon is this large rectangle here. You will start off in this direction this way. Again, with a right turn here, another right turn for the elites, heading all the way back down to the next yellow triangle buoy, and then you're going to head right in for, for the finish. That's a one-loop course. Those youth elites, you'll make your turn right in this area, right in this direction right there. So, again, make sure, uh, make sure that you pay attention to what course. It will be clearly marked. You'll have plenty of boats and, and, and paddle boards and jet skis to get you in the right direction. Now let's talk about the, the youth age groupers, 7 uh, to 15 years of age. Again, your course is a one-lap course. Uh, the 11 to 15-year-olds will be doing 200 meters, uh, 7 to 10-year-olds 100 meters. Anticipate wetsuits that will be legal. Uh, again, it's, it's a different start than what we just went over for the junior and youth elites, and we'll go over a map here in a second. It will be an in-water start. It will be a rectangular loop. It will be a clock, clock, clockwise swim. Again, plenty of people in the water to make sure you're going in the right direction. Uh, plenty of safety personnel, lifeguards in the water, boats, paddle boards to ensure that, uh, again, everyone has a, has a safe swim. Uh, again, yep, the yellow rectangular buoy will be the turn marker. 
Uh, like I mentioned, there will be plenty of Coast Guard, lifeguards in the water to assist this. And again, be sure to be there at least 10 minutes. I would recommend even, even more than 10 minutes just so that we can get everyone lined up because it is a time trial start by number, so we want to make sure to get everyone in line numerically. Uh, again, so we can start them on time. And again, it's about every three seconds that we will start the swimmers. So again, there will be a timer there and a starter, and they'll signify when you go into roughly about three seconds between individual athletes. This is your. This will be the youth age group swim right in here. Uh, the solid line right here is your for the the older athletes, 11 to 15 year olds. That's your 200 meter swim. Your the seven to ten year old, the 100. You'll make you'll cut it off. You're right about in this area and turn back in to head over out of the water and then up into the transition area. Talk a little bit about the bike course. Again, youth and junior elites. Junior elites are doing four laps, 20k. Youth elites two laps, 10k. Uh, the course is a flat course, technical with some turns, a couple of 180s on the, out there. Uh, again, the road is closed to traffic, so they will not be having to navigate with cars. It will be very safe for everyone who is out there. We will not have any bottle exchanges um, out there. And, again, the, we will, there will be officials uh, monitoring that course. So as we look, so as we look at the, the, the venue here, right here is the transition. This is where the swim will be taking place in this area here. You'll enter the course. This is Marina Way. You'll get on the J Street which turns into the Marina Parkway. You'll take a right turn on Bay Boulevard, head on out to the turnaround point. You'll do a U-turn here, head all the way back along the I-5 I uh, interstate, past J Street where you made the turn, head all the way back down on Bay to the 180 at this, at this point, turn around, head all the way back down Bay, right turn on Marina Parkway, J Street, left on the Marina Way, and then head back into the transition area. Now, if you look at this area right here, this will determine where your next loop is going to start. Head back on out. After you complete all your loops, you'll head straight and then right back into the transition area. Youth age groupers, 7 to 15 years of age. Talk a little bit about what your course looks like. Again, uh, for the 11 to 15-year-olds, you'll be doing two laps, which will total up to 10K. 7 to 10-year-olds, you'll do one lap, giving you 5K. Again, the flat course, the roads will be closed uh, to traffic, so very safe out there. Uh, no bottle exchange uh, to, out there on the course, so make sure you have enough water on, on, your, on your bike. Same thing. So, again, you're going to be heading out here. Same course that you're going to head out Marina Way down to J Street to Marina Parkway. Right turn on Bay. Boulevard, you turn at this point, head all the way back down, you turn here, back down to J Street in the Marina Parkway, left on Marina Way, and you're heading back into the transition area. So again, the, the 7 to 10 year olds, when you come into the transition, you'll just head right up here, dismount, put on your run shoes and head on to the run course. The 11 to 15 year olds, after you do one lap, you'll turn around at this point and head back out and do the exact same, the exact same course. Head all the way back through, and as you get to this point, you'll then head straight alongside the transitionary, dismount, head in the transition, throw on your shoes, and head on to the run course. Junior elites, youth elites, again, your junior elite course will have two laps, totaling 5K. Youth elites, one lap of 2.5K. Again, the roads will be closed. We'll be utilizing some of the road and some of the running path out there. Uh, there will be one aid station, uh, which you'll hit two times. Uh, Gatorade water and goo will be provided, uh, and again, plenty of volunteers, clearly marked course, so there will be no way to get off, off course or get lost while you're out there. We'll take a quick look at what that map looks like. Uh, again, here's your transition, so this is where getting out of the water. You'll dismount, put on your running shoes here. Again, heading out the same way that you did on the bike out of the Marina Parkway. I'm sorry, Marina Way, out to Marina Parkway, where you'll take a right alongside, which will turn into J Street. When you get to Bay, you will also take a right turn to the turnaround point at this point. Do a 180, head all the way back, which will take you back on the bike path, and will take you all the way back to the transitionary at this area. And you'll notice this dotted line right here. That's where the junior elites will start their second lap. They'll do a turnaround there and head out and do it again. Youth elites on your first lap, you'll just continue straight to the finish line right there. 
Junior leads again after your second lap. When you get to this point, just head straight, and you'll make it into the finish. Talk a little bit about the youth age group course. 11 to 15-year-olds, you will be doing two laps, which totals up of two, 2K. 7 to 10-year-olds, you do one lap, which is 1K. The roads are closed. You'll get utilizing some of the roads in the running pass for your course. You'll have one aid station that is out there. Again, Gatorade and water will be available. Plenty of volunteers, plenty of signage out there to make to ensure that you're uh, staying on course. So this is your course here, and as you, you'll see with the red line, this is when you come, you'll dismount, put on your run shoes, you'll head on out down Marina Way. Your entire course will stay on Marina Way. So you'll head onto the road to this point here, which you'll head up onto the bike path, head all the way back in. For those 11 to 15 year olds, when you reach this point back near transition, we'll send you back out to do a second lap. Seven to 10 year olds, when you hit this point, you'll head straight in. 11 to 15 year olds, when you hit after your, after your second lap, when you hit this, you'll again head straight in for, for the finish, which is again right in this area here. There it is. Eight stations. Kind of talk a little bit about what will be there. Gatorade uh, for the youth elite, junior elites. We'll have caffeine-free goo gels available if you need them. Water and ice will also be at the aid stations. There will be no bottle exchange on the bike course for either the elites or the youth age groupers participating this weekend. Very important. Let's talk about what to expect when you get into the transition area. We will have mount and dismount lines clearly marked. There will be signage and lines on the ground signifying that, that spot. The bike racks will be individually numbered. So if your number is 1222, there will be a spot on the bike rack that says 1222, and that's where you will put your bike. You will rack your bike by the seat if possible. If not, uh, again, we'll find other ways. To, again, if it's by the handlebars or if you have a kit stand. Uh, again, very important here. And I, and I can't stress this one enough, but no parents will be allowed in the transition area. So right in this area here, no parents or coaches will be in the transition area at any time. You can walk your child to the opening. They will be able to go in, and we'll have plenty of volunteers, coaches, USAT representatives that will help those ch children get to their spots, help them rack, lay their stuff out. So parents will always be, uh, again, on the outside of the transition. And, again, I'm going to underline this as well just to make sure that everyone gets that. Again, no parents or coaches allowed in the transition area. Only race essentials, as we mentioned before, will be allowed in the transition. Uh, again, make sure that you put your bag tag on your bag. So, again, we don't want that to get misplaced. Leave your bag with a parent, guardian, a coach, whoever it might be. Uh, again, you can take it into the transition area with you in the morning, but it must go out once transition closes. And for the youth uh, age groupers, the 7 to 15 year olds, your uh, checkout time will be around uh, 3 o'clock uh, in, in the afternoon there after the events conclude. Kind of give you a sense of what the layout is uh, of the venue. We talked a little bit about the course already, uh, but again, the finish line here, near the finish line, we'll have a medical tent will be located right in this general area here. Youth Elite, Junior Elite, your area, your athlete lounge will be positioned right here. Post-race food over here. You know, we'll have our vendors and some other people uh, setting up in, in these areas here in the grass. The award ceremony will take place, uh, again, in this grass area here as well. Transition area, again, uh, and again, there there will be plenty of restrooms and porta johns over in this general area here. And, it's, again, just to give you a better idea of your parking your parking areas are going to be right in this area over here. So, again, as you'll see, it's a very short walk to the venue. At the finish line, again, there will be plenty of water, Gatorade provided. Uh, again, we'll have a medical team there to provide any, any support that might be needed. You know, again, finish your medals for, for those crossing the finish line doing a great job. Uh, again, we'll have post-race food, uh, which if you refer back to that uh, previous map, we'll show you where that will take place. We will have individual printed results provided at the finish line. So when you finish, there will be a little receipt. You give them, their num give them your number. They'll print out a little printout of all your splits and all your times. 
uh, in that area where you'll get that uh, individual result, there will also be penalties posted uh, if you are assessed one. Again, all results final just before the award ceremony. So if you have a question or concern about your result, make sure you get to the timer or USAT representative before the award ceremony, because once the award ceremony takes place, those results are official. Awards, what to expect while we're there. Again, 3.30. Uh, 3.30 to 5 will be our award ceremony. Uh, again, the, the, the seven, seven year olds will go three deep. And as, as we look at here, so three deep in, in these awards will be, uh, the top three seven year olds, the top three eight year olds, the top three nine year olds, the top three ten year olds will be recognized. And then when we get to the 11 to 12 year age groups, uh, again, there will be the top three 11, 12 combined and the top three 13 to 15 combined. We'll also be acknowledging the Developmental Team National Champion Championship, uh, the Youth Club National Championship, our Youth Elite Men, Youth Elite Female, Junior Elite Men, and also our Junior Elite uh, Females. So again, three deep in all those categories. This event would not be possible without the support of the San Diego Sports Commission, the Port of San Diego, the City of Chula Vista, the Chula Vista Marina. They put a lot of time and energy in to make this a great event for you guys. So, again, uh, again, when you see someone out there uh, that has a, a City of Chula Vista uh, logo on, make sure to thank them for all that they do. You know, the other group of individuals who we can't thank enough is our USAT partners, TIER, Rudy Project, Blue Competition Cycles, and Gatorade. We thank them for all their support. Uh, again, when you get out there, you see any of those representatives from those countries, make, uh, companies, make sure to thank them for their support. All right, right now, again, uh, again, if, if there's any questions, uh, we we'll, should be getting a list here of any common questions. But, again, if you have any additional questions as we go after this webinar is over, feel free to email those to nationalevents at usatriathlon.org. And it looks like the questions on the elite race ask at briefing. So, uh, again, if youth elites, junior elites, if you have any questions, you can save those for the in-person mandatory briefing on Friday, and we'll go over those in great detail with the technical delegates. We appreciate all your time. Again, have a great race out there. We look forward to seeing you in San Diego and Chula Vista uh, next week. So, again, safe travels and appreciate all your efforts. Uh, again, remember, this has been recorded. We'll post this on our website uh, probably by tomorrow. So, again, you can go back and listen to this and look at the maps. Again, share that with individuals who may not be on the webinar right now. Uh, again, safe travels to Chula Vista and San Diego, and we'll see you in about a week's time. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much, Jeff. Um, and for those folks that have questions right now, make sure that you enter them into the Q&A box on the right-hand side of the screen. Um, I noticed that we were starting to get some questions in the chat box, which is located right above the Q&A box. Um, so if you look down on the bottom right of your screen, you'll see a Q&A box. Um, and we'll answer your questions uh, if they're answered in there. So thank you so much. We'll hang on the line um, to answer those questions. And otherwise, you can email USAT with the email address that Jeff mentioned earlier. So thank you so much, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us today, and best of luck on your race.